Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick little Cinema Director tutorial to show you some of the various ways you can trigger a Cinema Director cutscene. So let's get started. So I have a scene set up here with a couple cutscenes. We have one called Intro Cutscene and one called Conversation Cutscene. And to get one of these cutscenes to play, we need to use a prefab that's included here in Cinema Director. Under Cinema Suite, Cinema Director, Prefabs. It's called the Cutscene Trigger. You can just drag into your hierarchy and then you um, point it to the cutscene that you want to start and choose the start method. We have three choices here. We have on start, so we have a separate trigger for each cutscene that we want to be able to be triggered in the scene. So for our conversation cutscene trigger, we're going to use the method on trigger, which actually uses this box collider that you can move around or whatever, and a trigger object. In this case, it's going to be our director bot down here and when the trigger object intersects with the box collider it'll trigger the cutscene and for our intro cutscene trigger we're going to use the start method on start which means when the scene loads it's going to play so let's see how that works out hello again in this second intermediate example scene, I'm going to demonstrate to you humans how you can use Cinema Suite's Cinema Director to sequence events in-game. Oh yes, there will be cool things. Excuse the mess, I left some stuff lying around to demonstrate how you can blend mechanism animations with Cinema Director. It's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, I am now going to give you a very special privilege. When this cutscene ends, I'm going to allow you to control me to demonstrate the in-game sequencing. I have no choice. The developers are making me do this. Okay, so now we can move our director bot around. Now that that cutscene is finished, we just have all that stuff set to enable at the end. So, you know, move director bot around and trigger our conversation cutscene we were talking about before. So we're just going to walk director bot right into this box collider here. So let's see how that goes. As you can see, you have triggered a cutscene. Awesome. Of course, you can see how this would be useful for storytelling in a game. Okay, cool. So those two methods are pretty useful, but if you're a developer type, which I, I would assume you are, we have our director API. There's this cutscene behavior with uh, all these easy to use functions. So you can play or pause or, you know, stop the cutscene early or, uh, you know, skip to a time within the cutscene. So if you're more of an advanced user, we have you covered there as well. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this uh, quick little tutorial and thank you for using Cinema Director.